How's it going guys? Uh, and today we are back and we're playing some more Breath Edge. Uh, I was not feeling, uh, not feeling very well today so I decided not to play Dying Light. Because in that game I tend to scream a lot and I, yesterday my voice was, uh, my, my, <laughs> my throat was sore but today it's worse so I'm not going to do that. In any case, hopefully you guys just chill, enjoy, just chill, enjoying me riding through space because I got a bike. Uh, going to the new points, getting new stuff, and just upgrading all my gear. That's basically what I did today. In any case, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys end up enjoying this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, and notify yourself when I upload my brilliant content by clicking the notification bell. And hopefully you guys just enjoy because that is the most important part. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers! <coughs> Alright, we are back. Friends just chilling. I quickly did some offline stuff to for make ready for the exploration, whatever. So I just made some food, I think that will be enough water and then, yeah, a few stations Just to get there in a med pack of course, you never know when you'll need that, so Let's start heading over to this extraction point, I don't know if this is the end of the game or not, we'll see though <coughs> oh. oh, I'm still a bit sick, if you haven't noticed <laughs> Thought I was going to get better, apparently not I did bring one of the refill things with me in case I need it at some point. But we should be fine, hopefully. I probably started with the weather than yesterday. My nose completely clogged, my throat sore. So, yeah, that's why I thought I did want to play a game where I was screaming a lot, so that's why there's no time right today. With such an accent, the incorrect localization sounds extremely convincing. The information on the captain's bridge is classified in the database. Therefore, it is recommended to ignore this value of advice and act according to the situation. <laughs> oh, beautiful game, man. It looks also as, like really cool. Radiation, yeah. Scared, baby. It's that drill. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. Uh, Alright, so this. <laughs> I love this uh, European shit in this game. Eh? <laughs> the valuable ch chicken! I do have a key though. What? Suicide methods for you, a slight decrease in the background radiation was noticed. Surprisingly, your attempt to break the liner could lead to positive results. I could find out the nature of this phenomenon, but for that, I would need to disclose some confidential information of the Breath Edge Company, which contradicts the security protocol, so not a single spacesuit AI will disclose this information to you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. On the other hand, this information is extremely necessary for us. There are a lot of stupid spacesuits with dead carriers floating around, so nobody will even know if you resort to the good old torture method like the drill. No, no, I'll tell you everything, I swear! <laughs> ah, don't do that! What was that? I offered for you to torture other spacesuits! It's a logical thing to do! Well, <laughs> I won't utter another word. Okay, let bygones be bygones. I suppose you don't think that a program can be afraid of torture, do you? I don't think it can either, and I'm definitely not hinting that you need to find an engineering shuttle. Find an engineer, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explanations which you cannot get because the corresponding dialogues are absent in the game. Therefore, you won't get any. Fuck off, man. Jeez. I think I bugged out the game. I won't say any more as I can't break the steering wheel at all. Yeah, I have infinite breath. What the fuck? But now it's making a weird noise in the background. Uh. Okay, cool. Lo looks like there's nothing here. Maybe if I go to this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's infinite breath inside here. Yeah. And 
as we take oxygen that should be filling up oh, oops all right let's get it um, oh something happened to him oh damn Oh, thing. oh yeah, please, give me the electrical tape, buddies. Water, yeah. I'll take all of this. Thank you. Oh yeah. Looks like he was chasing with a chainsaw during the crash. I can find no other explanation for such damage to a spacesuit. We need one that's in good condition, or at least other parts of this one. I'd recommend exploring the area. <laughs> Piano, cool. We'll scan that. Uh... Unfortunately, this isn't what we're looking for. Although, I would think of getting a hand transplant if I were you. These are better. That's <laughs> eggs, what yours, the hell? It looks like nobody needs them anymore. What the fuck? Hey, what's the, okay, we can take that for some reason. Up, up, and away, metal, baby. Yeah, yeah, we'll use this. Telex. The durability of the engineering modules is impressive. Even such asteroids couldn't crash them. This is it. I wasn't sure if the engineer's legs remained intact, but we were lucky. Unfortunately, due to the security protocol, I cannot tell you... The special magnets built into these engineering boots can be used to illegally open the back panel of Breath Edge coffins. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, this game, dude. The temperature control system proved to be extremely reliable and works even when the shuttle is destroyed completely. I wouldn't recommend disassembling and examining it. Here's my game's license. What? Data acquired, but its analysis will take about three days. Ah, nope. Three seconds are enough. Apparently, the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties to mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. <laughs> okay. Uh, oxygen, I know it's not limited then. Alright, let's go craft a few like metal beaters and stuff before we get out of here. I think there was like one here. What do you need a new spacesuit? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading to current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. Paint the helmet. What? Uh, equipment. Capel. Do you? Equipped. Ah, <laughs> that's just... <laughs> Did you see that? He has a thing on his nose now. <laughs> Whatever, man. Hey, so two side boosters. Let's get it. Uh... Holy shit. Probably scan, right? Corridor. Blueprint. Noise. Neutralize with the chicken. Bah! Cylinder, which is forbidden to be installed on any non state suits, including Red Edge Company funeral suits. Okay. Alright, there's the oxygen, baby. Alright, let's head back, see what we need for this. And there we go. Now <laughs> we're no longer using the condom. Always. There we go. You get put away. You get two. All right, we should be able to look better right now. Blood before the crash, for sure. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> hey, we brought you a friend. Wah. All right. Don't think I will be able to, but we'll see. Ooh, will I be able to travel a thousand meters without oxygen? We actually made it all the way here. Damn, I did not expect that. And off we go. Over the rainbow. Bam. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left, or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. Oh, 
so what now? Oh, there's an oxygen station here. Okay. Three full oxygen. Yes, please. Okay, that's pretty cool. All our oxygen is back, baby. Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battering rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. The chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. <laughs> not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressure protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. What does this do? What is down here? During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order common, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note, you're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so fast. Unfortunately, the skillful <laughs> turned out to be a less skillful driver. A miracle of engineering. This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Oh, damn. Neutralized. Full. Oh, damn. Can I actually fill this? I don't have anything on me to fill it with. <laughs> Is it actually working? Oh, damn. We're gonna find fuel probably down here. Do you go faster with the boost? Oh, yes, you do. Almost 40 m meters per second. Dang. 30 on average is still a lot, man. We're going up, up, up. We got a space bike now. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it will look like this. Any case, if you guys ended up enjoying me just playing around, getting a bike in space and just being absolutely sick. <laughs> And doing dumb shit. You know what? Do like, subscribe, share, and notify yourself and upload my brilliant content by clicking the notification bell. And hopefully, you guys just enjoyed because, yeah, this was pretty fun. Chili X in game, you know, like I always say. In any case, hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>